Hi, this is Sonia. I am out here at the Eaglewood Resort teaching the Ask Your Guides Weekend Workshop. This is the workshop where I introduce you to guides, how to work with guides, how to meet your own guides, how to discern between what is true guidance and just riffraff, which is what I like to call anything that's not of a high nature. It's about taking off those glasses and seeing what's beyond what first comes up in that, that you know, instance that's just physical and getting to the heart. Because if you're in your heart, you can reach their heart. And I'm thankful for everything you've done for us and for all of you for being here. Good teaching. Be grateful. Doesn't that feel better? You know, when you're working with spirit, become comfortable and conscious of everything. And when we live in the five sensory unconscious world that is disconnected from our spirit in, in one form or another. So we want to start by just dismantling that and starting with giving you the, the encouragement and the permission to start checking the energy that you're in and recognizing that you have a choice in how to be aware of it, respond to it, and adjust it so that you feel more comfortable. So what's wrong with this room right now? What's wrong with the room? The atmosphere, the energy. Yeah, it's very tense. There's no breath. It's fear. This vibration is the dominant vibration on the planet. Fear. There are so many people here that want to open to spirit, that want to learn. Uh, for me, that's the most empowering thing here. I just am so excited that uh, there's this craving, you know, for the knowledge and to open to spirit. And it's, it's just been an affirmation for me, and I am so thankful. I see how I limit myself, how I limit my truth, and uh, not allow my spirit or my guides to speak when they want to. They have this healing message that is here to heal the world. And again, my mother said, with all due respect, you speak from what you know, but what you know is not all there is to know. And he was angry with her and felt that she was crazy, evangelical, nuts, misleading, dangerous. And my mother said, I'll take my peace and I'll leave was a real eye-opener for me. It opened up my uh, intuitive abilities. I'm eternally grateful that there's so many sixth sensory people looking for the same thing of peace and happiness and being connected with the divine spirit. I highly recommend this workshop to anybody uh, who is looking for a purpose in their life. Through this work, difference, the connection that's available, to let go of your fears and to embrace the incredible. Love and support. It's amazing. We've created a portal. This is called creating a portal for spirit to come in. And then the final thing we do before we connect with spirit is set intention. If I can say anything, this has been the foundation to all the other work that I do. And so I just want to, my intention or my hope and prayer would be for those of you to experience a level of healing and peace and joy that I have found through this work. As much as I love her books, there is nothing like Sonia in person. And having attended a few of her events now, she is always um, so giving, so playful. You will learn so much and have so much fun doing it. You never learn anything sitting down, so we're gonna invite y'all to stand up. I'm gonna give you a little bit of music because music is a tool that brings your spirit into your body. And every guy presents to us as a personality only because that is how our conscious mind can relate or have relationship with. That's what we know. But it's actually a vibration. 
can't see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, but good things aren't going to happen. And you want to keep your spirits up and keep around people that uh, do have positive spirits and see the positive light and know that um, something good's going to happen. Well, in these chaotic times, the most important thing is letting go of fear. Just find every way you can to release fear because that is space for more love, more love for ourselves, everyone around us, and even more love for our enemies. It's so intimate and so personal that you really walk away really knowing who your guides are and no longer feeling like you have to struggle or be alone. So I hope I see you at a future Ask Your Guides workshop. Bye.